Hey guys, we're going into the second match of a Shadows Over Innistrad draft. We won round one, and I think we have to, yeah, we have to mulligan this. You know, if we draw green, it's great. If we don't, we quickly sink, I think. So, yeah, I think this is better. Turn one, Gossip Monger. Turn two, Transform Gossip Monger. Seems, seems pretty good to me. Uh, we don't really want him right now. We would rather draw some more lands. So, turn one, Gossip Monger. <clears throat> you definitely want to draw a third and even a fourth land, but we do have an aggressive start without them. Dead weight immediately would derail us uh, considerably, though. And that could be what our opponent plans to do, especially because he seems to be thinking, so... Yeah, dead weight it is. All right, well, that hurts. We did draw another land, though, so we can still have a pretty aggressive start. Our Gossip Monger would have helped, but you can't have everything. Yeah, if we get to curve into Cathar, Solitary Hunter, we feel pretty good, though, I think. Ugh, that annoying card. All right, well, we're going to get to do that. Um, we still don't have great attacks, though. I mean, I don't really want to trade my wolf for that. I think for now we're just going to hang back. And, yeah, I mean, maybe I should trade my wolf for it. Maybe I'll swing on my wolf this next turn. Doesn't seem like a bad plan. Is your opponent mono black so far? Wicker Witch, okay, so probably a Delirium deck. That's usually where you want to be playing Wicker Witch. All right, well, this definitely, wow, that was an interesting way to say definitely. This definitely makes uh, an attack a little more attractive for us. Play our mob first and just swing with both these guys. We can then get a flyer out of our graveyard. Um, and if he wants to trade, we get, you know, a, a beefed up mob plus the flyer, so... That doesn't seem terrible. It's not amazing either, but it helps that at least one of our creatures comes back from our graveyard. Our opponent will be three quarters of the way to Delirium. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and cash that in from our graveyard. Get ourselves a 2-2 mob and then get a flyer from our Cathar. And end our turn. So Handwire Militia Captain would be a pretty fun draw right now if our opponent can't deal with it. You get to flip it and start just making tons of tokens. Oh man, the dead weights. We did pass several. <laughs> we took one, but I, I know we saw at least two more. Um, so dead weight is good against our deck. You're just going to like wipe out the rest of my board now. Seems possible. The kindly stranger. It can't wipe anything out just yet, but it will soon. Do you attack with your rats? I mean, we definitely play Solitary Hunter, even though it's likely that it gets devoured by Kindly Stranger. All right. So we attack with our spirit. We don't attack with our wolf, obviously. So what our opponent needs in his graveyard is a land, which if he has a way to mill himself will basically happen. Um, and then he'll be able to devour my solitary hunter. I think we just empty our hand out here because then Quilled Wolf becomes a threat too, although with Rancid Rats in play, maybe it's a little less exciting. Yeah, let's not do it. Let's hold on to it. I think we get more value out of that since Rancid Rats can just crush my poor Solitary Hunter. I mean, Cold Wolf, also Solitary Hunter, but... Opponent looks like they might be Mono Black. Was Black that open? I don't feel like it was, but maybe I got sort of tunnel vision. <laughs> but he's probably missing a color, right? Although he's cast almost every card in his hand, so... So that 2-1 Crow that throws two cards in the graveyard would almost definitely get him to Delirium. It would also stop this. 
So, for now, I think we just attack with our spirit and wait for our opponent to do something else. We don't have any way to kill Kindly Stranger other than our big board sweeper, of course. Wouldn't mind any of our engine cards, though, because those are pretty good against all this point removal. Um, you know, we just keep going wide with tokens and stuff, so... Neither one would be a good draw. Handwire Militia Captain would be good too, for the same reason. It would just start making, start spitting out tokens everywhere, so. But we do get a larger Solitary Hunter. All right, Moreland Drifter, huh? Now I think we play this. Um, hmm. For now, I think we just attack with our Spirit. Don't really feel like, you know, I, I want to make him use removal, not his rancid rats on my on my one of the pack. But we're going to keep going wide here. I think now we do just empty our hand. And if we get a turn where we can play both Quilled Wolf, uh, attack with both of these and use Quilled Wolf's ability, we'll feel pretty good. But we are on the verge of getting uh, Demon Possessed Witched. It would almost definitely take out our one of the pack. So hand is empty now. What is opponent dirtling for? They must have another color because they have three cards in their hand now. I can't. There's not like a black situational removal spell that they were like hoping to use on one of my creatures. I mean, I guess throttle can be that, but it seems like he could just use it to kill one of my creatures at this point. Oh, well, I think we just go all in on our spirit token here. If our opponent has removal, it hurts a little more, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put this on our spirit. So again, if that gets removed, we don't feel too bad. So we'll crack in there. All right, well, this spirit token may lead us to victory. <laughs> it looks like it's a possibility anyway. But yeah, we do have our Abyssinian missionaries. I keep selling myself short on my removal. I forgot I have that. And now, if we draw it, it actually is removal. So, let's see what our opponent has for us. There, oh, man. Especially if he can madness something at the same time. Oh, he could have had murderous compulsion if he was going to try to madness it out. Now he can. Um, but I think we're fine trading a spirit for an arrow falcon wrath if that's what, what, what it comes down to here. So if I draw a land, I probably swing with one of the pack, Quilled Wolf, and our Spirit Token. Um, I think that'd probably be the move. Our deck is not very good at getting Delirium. I have a few cards that have it, and luckily they're fine without it, but our deck has very little in the way of, like, well, that's pretty nice, of Instance of Short Series. It's not a land, but I think we once again just attack with our Spirit here. Putting a <laughs> True Faith Sensor on Near Heath Chaplain is pretty, it's pretty fun. So we're going to attack. If our opponent wants to trade here, uh, you know, he two for ones himself, unless it's a card with madness, um, like Twins of Mara Estate or something like that, which would be fine for our opponent. It'd be good even. I mean, he'd kill this and get a creature. But yeah, our chaplain will become a... What else? He gets one toughness, right? Yeah, but two power since it's a human. So that'll be pretty nice. Also, if it ever dies, it just gives us more flyers, which seem to be how we're going to win this game at this point. He's thinking about transforming his air, I would guess. What else could it be? Twins of Mara's State. Murderous Compulsion does stone nothing right now because none of my creatures are tapped. Um, what else is there? Well, it looks like he just lost a swamp to do it to take down our flyer. Which works for me. Especially because we drew near Heath Chaplain. Yeah. All right. So we just play our chaplain now.
And we end our turn. So we're going to put the sensor on it next turn, most likely. Okay. Yeah. What? What just happened there? Oh, he just paid the cost. Okay. That is fine. I didn't realize he got delirium. Oh, he needed a creature in his graveyard. I had a creature. I'm confused here. Oh, discarded the land with the air. That's what it was. All right. Luckily, our near Heath chaplain trades with that. No problem. So, is what, and that's what I would do if he attacked with it right now, is just block it with my chaplain. I mean, we can get delirium, but we definitely need our... Um, crawling sensation to do it because we have one artifact that throws itself in the graveyard we have i think we only have one sorcery in our whole deck we do have creatures and lands um and enchantments so but most of them only go to the graveyard if we have crawling sensation in play so moreland drifter is not going to get flying very frequently and our uh board sweeper is not going to give us an angel very frequently either but it could so yeah, if he attacks, I block, go up to 23, make two spirits on my turn, most likely. I think that would be my plan anyway. If I draw a land, there's something to be said about just quilled wolfing it, but I think this is probably better. All right, yeah, we go for the trade here. He has a trick or something we still don't really lose you know i mean it's sort of like our opponent got a two for one but it's more like they got like a one and a half for one because the card we just lost can come back from our graveyard plus it gained us three life so they are definitely worse things Ooh. okay that's a little less than ideal um getting back kindly stranger yeah Great, 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 great. Okay. <laughs> well, luckily our spirit tokens don't care too much, but getting that back is pretty, pretty nasty. Hey, well, that's, now that's going to be what eats the removal. So, <laughs> interesting. Um, hmm. Do I equip and then use? No, I probably just go for it here. I mean, I probably by go for it. I mean, I'm going to use my chaplain's ability from the graveyard and play the captain. So then our opponent has to use the removal on the captain. I mean, maybe we wait and see if my yeah. Let's wait and see if we can get our opponent to use it on something else. If we can, then we're going to feel pretty good. I think. Um, yeah, we're going to stick this on the drifter and just swing with it. Just gonna go for it. I'm guessing Rancid Rats just jumps in front of it. But I think we're okay with that. Yep. Of course, if there's another Macabre Waltz in our future, we're gonna be less, a little less uh, okay with it. But for now, we hold on to our three creatures. I mean, Kindly Stranger may kill one of them. Especially if I move equipment to one of them. Oh, yeah, I got the air back, too. Both of those together is... That's not very nice. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to move the True Faith sensor here again. And... Our spirit's going to die, most likely. And then something else will probably die, too. So I'm going to attack. Our opponent might actually be mono black. Like, the things he's holding in his hand may just be things to discard to stuff like Era of Falcon Wrath. I'm not sure. I'm not certain. If he's not mono black, we're kind of in trouble because we're struggling to to do enough here to get there. Yeah, just discarded a swamp. So, mono black. Black may just have been open enough. 
So if we can get him to use his kindly stranger to kill our other token, I think we feel pretty good. I don't see that as super likely, though. I'm just going to take it, huh? All right. That's fine with me. I'm going to play the Drifter. And I'm going to end my turn. Use your kindly stranger to kill my wolf or something. Come on. I really want to flip this captain after you've used up all your resources. Then just snowball. I mean, if the air attacks, we just take it. Obviously, we're at 23. Still, like, nowhere near delirium. <laughs> We mostly only have creatures in our deck, so... All right, so that makes it a 4-3, sure. Does not look like we're going to get him to use Kindly Stranger anytime soon, though. Sadly. That is sad. Do you attack? No, I didn't think so. Okay, so I think we just move True Faith Sensor to this guy. And swing with him. Trades for any of them, or my opponent takes three. That's fine with me. And then we play Graph Mole, most likely. I'm really just trying... I mean, because our deck doesn't have removal or anything, we need to get something like this in play to stick so that we can just overwhelm our opponent. Um, and with Kindly Stranger remaining in play, that's not super easy. But it's lucky that we keep drawing creatures to... You know, at least make our opponent consider doing something about. Take three. No, okay, yeah. All right. Fine with me. Now we play our Graph Mole. I know you want to kill that with Kindly Stranger. Come on. It does actually, if I put True Face Sensor on it right now, it can kill the heir to the night without itself dying so it has that going for it if only we could draw our six land and quilled wolf could start rumbling if only somehow we haven't uh, we have played a couple few humans um a couple of them are exiled so opponent has been deep in the tank a lot in this game Used up a lot of time, I just noticed. Down to 12 minutes. That's pretty intense. Considering this game is like not especially close to being over, and it's only game one. I mean, it'll feel like it's over if we get him to use Kindly Stranger to kill, let's say, Graf Mole, and then we drop our, our Militia Captain. I think maybe when I equip my True Faith Sensor, he'll use the Delirium ability and kill my Graf Mole. And then I can play my captain, and then things just go in our favor from there. So let's hope for that anyway. He could also have more removal in his hand. That's not, you know, I haven't. he only has two cards in his hand, but one of them could be like Throttle, which would basically make me have to play my captain, I think. All right, so bring the attacks. Nope, don't bring anything. Okay, well, now we have that, too, so <laughs> we'll take it. We're going to equip our Graph Mall, see if Kindly Stranger does its thing. If not, we swing with the 3-5 with Vigilance. See what our opponent does about it. Delirium? Okay, nice. Never been so happy about a Graph Mole getting killed. I mean, there is still the chance he has more removal in his hand. But, like I said, we do have Descend Upon the Sinful to fall back on. And right now, a 4-3 can't even race our Flyers anyway. Although, Heir to the Night obviously flies. But All right. So, we're going to go ahead and play this Militia Captain and see if it survives. See, see if it's a dead weight or something before it can flip. And then we're going to end our turn. So it will flip on my upkeep um, if my opponent doesn't have removal for one of my creatures. Although if he's going to kill any of them, it would probably be the, the the main problem. Let's see if it just eats removal after all my scheming. No. All right. My scheming wasn't useless. 
Yeah, that's interesting. He didn't attack because I was like guaranteed not to block there because I want this to happen. <laughs> so, hello. Okay. Um, that seems pretty good. I think I just attack with my Quilled Wolf here. Whatever I can take with my Quilled Wolf is going to help us win. So. I mean, it, it, if he blocks with these two, it can kill both of them. I doubt that's how he's going to block. But if I can take down the Flyer, I feel good. I almost don't want to kill Demon Possessed Witch because of the off chance that my opponent has another Macabre Waltz. And that would just destroy us. So if I can, I probably won't kill the Witch. Um, I would take down the Twins before I would take down the Witch. God, he's... You, okay, good, 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 good. We just want the twins. <laughs> I do not want to take down anything. I do not want to deal with some more of that nonsense. And the twins are actually better right now anyway. So Crunch takes down the twins, leaves him with his witch, and then at our end step we get a token. Hello, human cleric token. And we end our turn. So we have sort of, you know, build your own army going on here. I don't really see a way we can lose this game in the long run uh, because we have to send upon the sinful in our hand. Like, if he finds a way to deal with everything, we get to reset the board. If he doesn't... Um, wow, shamble back. Okay. Don't see that too often. Right. Well, we're just going to keep snowballing here. Another land. I think we may as well hold on to that. So since this is a human, um, it can actually trade with everything on my opponent's side of the board right now. The bad news is that does mean the demon-possessed witch thing could happen, but I think we're probably okay with that. We're going to get another human cleric token out of this um, before anything else happens. So, God, he's got another macabre waltz. No, maybe not. We're okay with that. May as well use the rest of our mana to make this harder to kill, I guess. And then we make another human. And end our turn. That's the thing, too. Like, with this in play, we don't even have to contribute anything to the board. We can slowly but surely whittle away at our opponent by equipping the human cleric token with true faith sensor uh you don't actually kill anything right now i'm sad to say otherwise i wouldn't mind seeing you but we're just going to do this again don't want to swing with my cult leader because it would die obviously so in case you're wondering all right no trade that time i mean i think we play our apparatus here because it does give us a way to finish our opponent if we need to hold on to our forest though um and we'll end our turn and get another cleric. I'm really glad we played around that demon-possessed witch nonsense and got him to use it on our graph mole because we were not, you know, we were getting really slowed down otherwise. So let's just try our other true faith sensor and just go to town with these humans. Our uh, double strike granting human would be good. Uh, could be throttle, which would mean the end. Of my poor cult leader, which maybe I should have put the true face sensor back on it because it gets it out of the range of throttle. Alms of the vein. Okay, well, not too worried about that. That will make this game go on longer, but <laughs> won't do a whole lot more. Okay. All right, I think we do play that. The more tokens we get, the quicker we're going to win this thing. So. Um, oh, right. It's not the one who gives me clues. That would be nice. Oh, well, it says non-token anyway. Wouldn't actually be that good right now. Okay, opponent goes to 11. Uh, also, since we have craw uh, Descend Upon the Sinful in our hand, that means that... That, um... Uh, we're likely to get Delirium now. So, because we have Crawling Sensation. So... We just keep going wide on this opponent until we can swing. Like, if we draw our, our captain who pumps everything, anything like that would really get us there. 
I just I don't want to lit risk the cult leader playing into removal just yet. Eventually, I probably will swing. Okay, that's annoying. I have to deal with another creature, but our opponent was likely to draw one eventually. What did they discard? A swamp. Still no good attacks. Let's make some more tokens. Ah, oh, we didn't make any tokens. How about that? Ah, oh, true faith sensor. I like you were you were gonna help me. All right, so we're gonna swing. Slowly but surely, we will grind out this game, <laughs> especially because our opponent is somehow down to seven minutes. Don't usually like winning on timeouts, but my opponent has somehow not used a time. So at this time, I think we do put True Face Center here just to make sure it's out of range of throttle or any other nonsense. Um, and then we end the turn. And 8-7 is getting into the area where I might attack, especially if we get a token here. Let's see what our opponent has now. That we can kill with our Crawling Sensation. So our Explosive Apparatus is what I mean to say. All right, so we do. Pow. Deals with that. Yeah, we're definitely going to win this on timeout, sadly. Yeah, our opponent realized that they're eventually going to lose and need to save their time. So that was wise of them. So we're not going to have the surprise of being able to like get him to use stuff on hand, uh, on other creatures and then stick our militia captain, but um, that's probably okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean... You know, a lot of the times you have to play them as a two drop anyway. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll just keep our deck as is. I think it's, I think it's pretty sweet so far. Lack of removal or not. All right, let's go into this next game. Well, we have an easy mulligan. Not much thinking to be done there. Ooh, that's also a mulligan. All right, this one's not terrible. Uh, two drop would have been nice, but we'll take a land. Two drop would have been nice because we could have flipped our gossip monger really quickly. Um, probably just going to eat a dead weight again, let's be honest, but sanitarium skeleton. Okay. Well, that would have <laughs> been pretty good in the last game where we were just sort of slowly killing our opponent. Um, but it was too risky to really swing with everything or anything like that. So we have turned two true faith sensor, which isn't terrible. Dead weight, probably. Right? Right, dead weight. Sanitarium skeleton gets in there. No dead weight. Okay, so. Um, we might as well swing, actually, strangely. <laughs> if our opponent, you know, has removal, he would have been able to use it whether we swung or not. So, since we don't have a two drop, we may as well get in there for one. I mean, we do have a two drop, it's just not a creature, so. Next turn, we won't swing because we'll be able to flip him into a scary, scary thing. Scarier when you can put True Faith Sensor on him, which we'll be able to do on the next turn. Kapow. Does he eat a dead weight? I mean, even if he gets dead weighted after he transforms, he's pretty much dead because, um, you know, he's a 0 1 who has to attack every turn, so. A Diagraph Colossus. All right, so opponent, did we see a lot of zombies in the first match? I don't know if we did. Um, but we're going to go ahead and play this and be ready to transform our Gossip Monger. And in the turn, so we have to remember to transform our Gossip Monger at the end of our opponent's turn. little fun fact, if you didn't know, any ability that says that doesn't have the tap symbol, you can actually do disregarding summoning sickness. So the gossip monger has to be able to, um, he has to not be summoning sick, but this doesn't, doesn't matter. So it transforms him either way. All right. Well, this is looking pretty good for us. So do we want to play our hunter? I don't think we actually do. I think, I mean, it would be great, surely, but I think doing this is better. Um, and then just swinging with both our guys is just is just way better um because if this gets blocked one way or another we get you know tokens out of our graveyard yeah we'll get a token out of our graveyard this turn 
that's what we'll do now. I mean, he can get back his Sanitarium Skeleton every turn, but eventually we're just going to grind out another win. So we're going to go for our Cathar's Spirit Token and end our turn. So I'm guessing he gets Sanitarium Skeleton back. Yeah. Makes sense. Not going to play the Skeleton? Hmm. I think they accidentally went to combat and they're trying to play their Skeleton. If all he does is play a Skeleton, it's probably better to move True Faith Sensor to my Spirit because it can't be blocked. Well, it can be, but not by a Sanitarium Skeleton. Your opponent just made a mistake there. Now they won't be able to put their Skeleton back next turn, which is not good for them. Although, playing the Hunter is probably better than moving my True Faith Sensor. Yeah, it is. We just need to end this game quickly. Or I want to, anyway. <laughs> Guess we don't need to. All right, so we're going to go ahead and crack in with both again. Well, it's a diff different creature this time, but what's left of our other guy? So, Chump Block, take one, I'm guessing. And then we'll play our Hunter. Um which should start continue to allow us to do well. All right, we need our turn there. So we can get in for 10 if our opponent doesn't do anything here. That's pretty brutal. Well, more than that if he didn't do anything. Okay, well, that that is not cool. But luckily we have two very high-quality creatures and losing one isn't going to be the end of the world for us. Okay, so here I think I probably do move, because I don't have anything else to do, um, probably do move that here, and I can actually probably get away with not attacking with my Hunter. Um, I mean, if my Hunter's going to transform, for one thing, um, so I think that's pretty good. And if he decides not to block, we still get in for five. Yeah, so he's going to block like I expected. But now we get a five, six, and we end the turn. So what we don't want to see, let's see how many creatures, how many card types. Hey, they're all creatures. That's good for us. <laughs> we do not want to see Kindly Stranger, who definitely slowed our roll in the last game. Um... Okay, getting that back, also annoying. Macabre Waltz is great when you have Rancid Rats and Kindly Stranger, which actually isn't something I'd ever really thought about before, but being able to use her ability more than once is, in fact, good. What do they discard, though? I think going mono black was probably a mistake, but there were definitely a lot of black cards going around. For them, you know, I haven't really seen a card I'd say is completely unplayable in black. So... But our opponent is down to two minutes, which is nuts. Um, I'm assuming the rat the rats come down now. Which will also untransform our guy because he also played Macabre Waltz. Don't give me a land. Oh, gave me a land. Right, well, I think we just offer the trade and get in for two. Our spirit will continue to help us win the game here. We play a land and we end our turn. I can't really see where our opponent could A, beat us this game in two minutes, or B, beat us a third game. <laughs> so I think we're going to unfortunately win this to timeout, which is not the most exciting viewing experience. I apologize, but that happens. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> our opponent has dealt with everything we had. Don't give us another land. Okay, well, that'll help us rebuild one. Yes, it will. So we're going to play it. Start getting insect tokens. We want to hold on to land, like at least one land in our hand, because we do have a uh, pack guardian, which we haven't seen. So that's something worth mentioning. So skeleton comes back. Skeleton comes into play. What else? Explosive apparatus. 
Well, luckily they can't use it yet. So if we get an insect, it won't die immediately. Wow. Of course, I hit two spells. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, things have mostly been going our way, so I can't complain too much. This skeleton could beat us to death, I guess. Seems unlikely, though. Yeah, we've missed both times we've used Crawling Sensation. I guess we do have nine of our lands, um, so. Okay, going for going for more damage with Grotesque Mutation there. Just trying to kill us. All right, well, this, you know, we could end up losing this game. Wow. Whiffed again, and we hit our pack guardian, and we, of course we've drawn a land every time. <laughs> again, I guess I can't complain too much. Everything has gone our way, but it, that's crazy. What are the chances? Because yes, we have we do have several of our lands, but the chances of us drawing one should be significantly less than the chances of us milling one. Wow! Oh no, I hit it that time. Okay. Whew. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, well. Hello. And, yeah. So, <laughs> that should allow us to kill the twins. Kapow. Yes, please. And we're going to win on timeout, unfortunately. But I think we likely would have eventually ground out a win that game. But who knows? So, Going into the finals, uh, this match was, again, not the best viewing experience, but our deck is cool enough that I think it's probably worth uh, posting anyway. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, 